Apparently Capcom just made a Sega. That doesn't make sense, it, it does it. No, let me explain it a little bit more. Capcom decided to make a game called Mega Man Universe. When I first saw the trailer of the game, I, I said, Fuck yeah, I can't wait till this comes out for the Xbox 360 and PS3? Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. I, I, see, when the game first came out... I'm sorry, the game hasn't come out yet, but... When you first got information that it was only for the Xbox 360 and PS3... I was extremely suspicious. I was wondering to myself, there has to be a reason why. And I finally figured it out. This confusing mess. I am not kidding. It's like, it's, it's compare, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna compare this to the Legend of Zelda timeline. You know how confusing that is? Okay, imagine that with Mega Man. Sounds easy, doesn't it? But... Minus a timeline. You know, forget it. Why am I doing this? Anyways, the most confusing thing about this, and it's confusing me and you know, millions of other people, is that Capcom, I am not kidding, had the need to... Okay, in America, Mega Man is called Mega Man. In Japan, Mega Man is called Rockman. Those are the same person. Rockman, Mega Man, same person. Except, in this game, I'm not kidding, they failed to make them individual characters. ba da ba ba, -ba. <laughs> I just realized that. They, they, they made them individual characters. Complete different characters. That makes no sense. The game is called, titled Mega Man Universe. Not Mega Man World. Not Mega Man Galaxy. It's going to sue their ass. Mega Man Universe. Japan is not a separate universe. It's a separate part of Earth. And Capcom just felt like that. What makes me even more... Wait a second. My shirt is blending in the wall. I just noticed that. That is weird. That is disturbing. Anyways, what's... <laughs> we don't talk about a topic. I know. I just realized that. It, I can't get over that. You know what? Here. There we go. Now I'm pissed off. <laughs> just, just close. Just. What makes no sense... Two is that one of the it says right here that a new taste starts with the impressive Mega Man, and it seems you can enjoy Mega Man's world with various characters. Various characters. Also, the page announced Mega Man Universe's sale in Japan. Apparently. People in Japan have not known if they'd get the game until now. And people are people are are are, are blinded by of course let's have a little bit of a pop quiz here. The fan, the fanboys of the Mega Man are blinded by what? A. Story. B. The fact that it has Mega Man 2 Robo Masters, which is their main focus, which is the most overrated Mega Man game of all time. You want proof? Or, or C. The graphics. This song's annoying. I hate every fucking remix that's on every side, that's on every side. Even Brenda Floss gave it lyrics. And no one gives a sh flying fuck about. Or even. Or even. Or my favorite. 
they had the need to do the... I'd have enjoyed seeing it. But the worst problem about this game is about it. Is about the fact that they have three individual Mega Mans, which makes no sense at all. By the way, what's the answer? The answer is C, graphics. In fact, look, listen to this. Ugh, just where in the art gallery am I supposed to put the likes of Ryu and Arthur? Says Heatman. Uh, Heatman, they don't have you. They don't have you for in a Mega Man universe. They ruined you in Mega Man universe. They have Japanese text over here, which doesn't prove anything that this game is gonna be released in Japan. I pretty much doubt it. Worst of all is the redesign of Mega Man. He looks like a bastardized idiotic version of Mega Man. Kind of like Mr. Master Chief. This is the Mega Man that everyone knows and loves. What we got here is what appears to be some a Mega Man that looks at it looks like it came out of Tron. Jesus Christ. I'm I'm disappointed. I am very disappointed. You can play as Ryu and Arthur, big deal. It's called Mega Man Universe, not Capcom Universe, which means it's going to be focusing on more about Mega Man. I feel so sorry for Capcom. They turned into Sega. They're focusing more about their main protagonist, Mega Man, more than any other. Also, that's kind of ironic that Mega Man's blue and so is Sonic. I mean... Nintendo was trying to avoid that, too. What if Nintendo turns into that? What if we don't get any more Donkey Kong games? Or Metro games? Hey, we don't get any more Earth Gun games, I'll tell you that. That's a good thing. Why is that a good thing? Okay, we're going off topic here because I have to cover this right now. See, if there was a Mother 4, then this is something that I would call Final Fantasy Syndrome, which is an RPG that's been remade, re that's been sequeled over and over again. We don't want the Mother series turning into Final Fantasy. No, we don't want that. No. Do not want. I didn't want to erase that. Oh, it didn't. Cool. Got it. Or, or Kirby. What if Nintendo only focused on Mario? This is another. Capcom is doing what Sega is doing right now. And that's grabbing money. They're not doing this for the fans. They're not doing this for anyone else. What they're doing here is just grabbing money. Which really disappoints me. It's disgusting. It's mean. I mean... The game doesn't look good. Maybe when the game comes out, maybe I'll change my mind if I ever play it. But I pretty much doubt I'm going to play it because I don't have a PS3 nor an Xbox 360, so I really don't know. But, uh, but as of right now, if it's for the Xbox 360 and PS3, it might be a bad game. Because it just I have, I have some suspicions about this game. I really don't know what to say. It, it's kind of sad. Oh, I forgot to mention. They have the bad box art Mega Man. <laughs> oh my god, they have the. They have. You can play as the bad box art Mega Man. Finally! Finally! 
Finally, we get to see something like that. I saw the gameplay trailer when you was, when they did this. They should have done it like that. They should have made that Mega Man the pro. I don't know why it's called Mega Man Universe. I just got an idea. Okay, okay, imagine this. You guys remember the uh, the uh, poster for Mega Man 10? How it, it Proto Man looked badass and the uh, face looked badass? Yeah, they didn't put that in there. Yeah! That made the game a little bit playable. But anyways. I don't know what to say anymore. Cause the game looks... The game's disappointing now. I'm disappointed in the game. It doesn't look good. I'm a sad panda. That's all I can cover as of right now. When the game comes out, and we actually see, I actually see a real review. I know what IGN's gonna give this game. It's gonna give. It's 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 going to ignore the plot, the gameplay. It's gonna focus more on the graphics and everything. It's, it, they're gonna give this game like a like a four or a three or something. No, actually, no. It doesn't. Uh, wait, no. Now they'll give Sonic four a not a, a three because they don't like Sonic jackasses but IGN will give this like a 10 because of graphics that's it but as of right now the game looks terrible that's my opinion if if you have a different opinion please comment below if you have anything that I didn't mention at all I'm gonna stick to Mega Man 10 Wait, almost. I just realized something. Isn't it odd that that Capcom ma just made Mega Man 10 a couple months ago? Months? What the hell's a month? And now they're making a Mega Man. Um, they're making another Mega Man game? Isn't that just a little bit weird? Hmm. Oh well. I'm Robot Master 101, and hopefully you're not as a sad pan like I am.